Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Divine Ones, we greet you in celebration. We greet you in love but we also greet you today in celebration. The December solstice is approaching and this time of celebration is so appropriate given your expansion and the emerging potentials for humanity. We greet you in celebration. We are celebrating your recent shifts, your recent decisions, your choices and your focus on aligning with your own higher consciousness. We have seen a lot of devotion around this and about this we have that to say, bravo. Brava. We celebrate you. So much brilliant joy is surging through so many of you more often as you make these simple direct choices to be who you want to be and love yourself as you are now and feel empowered in the present, and claim your ability to choose what this moment is for you, as energy. We see so much opening up in your realm because of your many shifts. You are raising the vibration of your planet as you raise your vibration. Don't you love that? Well, if you were focused on raising the vibration of the planet, you'd be struggling because you're attempting to do something that's not sovereign, but when you raise your vibration through your own intention to be in sovereign alignment with all you are, through your own alignment, the vibration of the planet rises. Subtle, but powerful. You are also elevating the potentials for bliss and joy and other really elevated, good feeling states in your world as you allow yourself to tune to bliss and joy. The light within you is focused more on these ways of being, and as a result, your old sense of self, your old ideas about who you are are dissolving. This is really beautiful and empowering because as you realize that you are continually reappearing as we spoke of yesterday, moment to moment reappearing in new and different locations with infinite possibilities of locations in which to arrive and experience. Because of these realizations and your choices around them, your relationship as soul to embodiment is changing and becoming elevated. The most empowering realization to truly grasp is the absolute newness of now, the absolute newness of now. That is the biggest and empowering idea that we can encourage you to create and energize in your knowing as a belief. Learn to think thoughts until you believe them that convince you of the absolute newness of now. Then live. Trusting that newness. All the things you feel you want to change. All the things that feel stuck. All the things that you feel hold you back or limit you. All of these can be dropped effortlessly in the newness of now with the focus in the now, to choose and think and see and amplify what feels good to you now. It is still not clear to you, we know, because we see it, how powerful and radical it is to actually honor what feels good to you to make your pleasure a priority but you're getting it. You're getting into it more. Making your pleasure a priority is so contrary to so many paradigms and rules and ideas about how to live your life, and yet really everyone wants it. Everyone wants to feel happy, joyful, pleasurable, bliss and passion. These are treasured states and everyone likes them and wants them and yet there are so many ideas about how often you're supposed to have them and what it takes to achieve them. Beyond that, you each have different ways you like to know these experiences, different circumstances and situations which you associate with them. All of this is beneficial and beautiful, but what isn't beneficial is the idea that these states are rare or not natural, or that they require effort or sacrifice, or all the fourth dimensional ideas we've been pointing out, you know. This feeling like that you've got to change what's wrong with you or fix or heal yourself or others or the planet in order to feel these things. We say again, no circumstances need change for you to feel anything including bliss, passion, exquisite joy and pleasure. In fact, the circumstances will change faster and more to your liking only when you feel better. Subtle, but powerful. The better you feel the better the circumstances will be and the better they will become. The more you will experience joy in the present the more you will find to feel joyful about in the future. Your future looks a lot like how you're feeling today, right now and the momentum you are living. It is important, as we've shared before, while enjoying the circumstances and situations that will arise in this new and expanding alignment that you're choosing, to not forget how it's coming about. 
Do not lose your awareness that your feelings are manifestations of your frequency. Don't get sucked into some idea that the circumstances are what gives you joy. Don't buy into that idea that the circumstances give you joy. It is your focus on the things you enjoy that give you joy. It is your choice of focus always that creates your energy state and gives rise to what you feel as happiness and any other feeling. A feeling is the first manifestation of a frequency state and you are creating both your energy and through that, the feelings you have moment to moment. In a certain sense, a thought is really what comes first but the feeling comes very fast, and it's most helpful for you to notice that the feeling is a manifestation of a frequency and to own that, own it. Using the feeling state as an indicator of your alignment with all you are and feeling into better and better alignment with the vaster you. Own that you are creating your feelings. Own that you are creating your feelings. Own that you are creating your feelings through your frequency, not the other way around. Not the other way around. Don't let your feelings manifest in your experience and interpret them as guidance. They're not guidance except as indicators of your alignment. They are manifestations of your energy and your focus. Empowerment and mastery, which is what you all moving into and aspiring to, in your embodiment, is doing all of this naturally, doing all of this reliably as a normal way of being. Perhaps that might be your aim now, to experience the inner harmony of creation through your masterful, confident, Consistent use of focus with an aim to being increasing alignment and unity with the vaster you? You might aim to create and live an intentional soulful life by empowering your higher levels through your increasing capacity for sovereign alignment. This is what's emerging at the leading edge of human experience and that way of being, is lived unity. It's letting go of the need to change things to feel the way you want to feel and letting everybody else be a master too. This insight that you don't need to change things to change how you feel, is the liberating truth of your age. It's the liberating truth of your time, to realize that your choice and consciousness and the state of your energy is what matters. What matters is the truth of your being coming forth and becoming normalized in your experience, in your time. It's learning to live from the truth of life, the underlying truth that all is energy. That's the shift happening now. The shift in your world is a shift into living in the knowing that you are eternal energy expressing as individuated consciousness. With that, because of that structure, because that's the way it is and that's how it comes about, you are innately powerful creators. You can take control of your creativity and masterfully live with intention because it's all done through your consciousness and you have control over how you use your consciousness. It takes practice to do this. This is a very important thing for you to remember. We've mentioned this before and we will continue to mention it repeatedly. It takes practice to do this. It is so important for you to know that it takes practice to live this way because it will help you not get discouraged and help you persist in claiming your capacity and shifting your life into the new potentials for being human. To live using your consciousness intentionally is a radical departure a radical departure from the old locations in time or space as a human being. Becoming accustomed to entirely elevated locations in time or space in which you are intentionally embracing your sovereignty and your freedom, and discovering how to be you and your knowing. That's the leading edge. You are in your knowing more and more, and that is liberating you. In any now in which you are in your knowing, you feel exquisite and there is a lot of energy flowing through you and it's thrilling. You know what you really feel? You feel up. You feel light and you feel up. Is it any wonder because that's what's happening? You're lightening up and you're rising in frequency. You're in the ascending current. Let it flow. Let it flow. Be open, allowing of it. Take action upon your knowing. Close the gap between ideas and action. Let the flow expand. What comes to you in this state is really good feelings and glorious unfolding, glorious. The solstice energies can be used to shift even further into these new ways of being. For realize the galaxy and all fields of light in your domain are participating in this ascending flow. 
you can tune and co create with these vaster fields and doing so is also natural and real. Life is opening up to different knowings about CO creation between the non-physical and the physical and your lives are convergence points where together we CO create. You are meant to have a glorious unfolding of your embodiment. You're meant to be here in the most exquisite uplifted state of being and enjoy how that feels, and create from that ever elevating, ever expanding platform. Each new level you experience gives you new inspiration through the contrast of your life for what you want to create. The sensations and the visions of that way of living. The sharing and the laughter of that and the well-being and the abundance of that. Paradise. Paradise. Utopia. Eden. All these words have been in your world lexicon for a long time and they're pointing to this. They're pointing to this experience here, now, alive as soul, intentionally getting how it works as energy and using your focus knowing you are consciousness, eternal, free and unlimited in your capacity to expand your capacity and to create. Feel into more and more harmony with the total you. Be gentle with yourself because it's radical. Know it takes practice and find the wide open spaces in your inner landscape and let them nourish you. Let that lightness of being within bring you into state of being who you truly are. Home is how you often think of this this feeling of coming home, and when you live this way, your life will be a felt demonstration of everything you enjoy in an endless stream of now. I am Archangel Michael with the Council of Radiant Light. We are complete.